Hey seventh grade students, this is Baiju Six Seventh and Eighth Channel, and I am Saurabh. Let me welcome you to the series we call as Rapid Revision, the Last Lap. And today, time is to cover this chapter we call as Motion and Time under 30 minutes. 30 minutes ke under, ye ek chapter grade seventh ka hum finish karenge end to end. So, pehle baat kar lete hain. What do we get throughout this session? First. Obviously, you will revise this whole chapter, that's for sure. Second, you will get notes, very important. And you will get important exam questions or worksheet as we love to call it. Ye dono cheeze tumko mil jayenge description mein, right? If you check out the description, there is a link given to you. If you click on that link, a website will open, a web page will open, you will get these two things, all downloadable for free. Yes. Then, what do we have? We have homework questions. So, I'm expecting if you understand everything, you will answer me in the comment section. All right, deal. What do we say? Shall we start the rapid revision? The last lap. Come on, guys. Motion and time. Grade seventh. Let's see. You can break this down into this kind of a roadmap. Right? This is something we can see broadly. What do we have to study? We have to study types of motion. That's the beginning of the chapter. Your chapter ki kahani grade six se connect karne ke liye. It starts from types of motion because grade sixth ends with types of motion. Grade seven starts with type of motion. होता है ना अच्छे TV series क्या होते हैं जो हाँ खत्म होता है वहीं से start करते हैं दूसरा season two right something like that happened over here. Then we have speed and distance, then uniform and non-uniform motion, time and its units, simple pendulum and graphical representation of motion. देखो मोटा मोटा बताऊँ ना मैं तुमको grade seventh motion and time discuss some very very simple things. क्या आप डिस्कस करेगा डिस्टेंस, स्पीड। अब तू फाइंड स्पीड व्हाट डू यू वांट? यू वांट डिस्टेंस एंड टाइम ना। तो इसीलिए स्पीड इफ यू वांट तू फाइंड डिस्टेंस वी हैव डिस्कस सेपरेटली, टाइम वी हैव डिस्कस सेपरेटली। हाउ तू फाइंड टाइम, हाउ तू मेजर टाइम, डिवाइसेस तू मेजर टाइम ये सारी बातें हुई हैं इस चैप्टर में। उसके अलावा फिर हमने क्या किया? यूनिफॉर्म मोशन, नॉन इनफॉर्म मोशन क्या होता है? और फाइनली वी हैव कम टू अ कंक्लूजन ऑफ graphical representation where we have only distance time graph or kuch mat sochna in NCRT in CBSE for grade 7 we have only distance time graph all right simple hai chapter chalu kare cheek hai let's start from types of motion as you might have learned in grade 6 types of motion is something which is very 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 simple and the most important ones from exam point of view is rectilinear motion Soldiers doing march past in a straight line. What kind of motion is this? It's a rectilinear motion. Means motion in a straight line in the same direction. Fine. Circular motion, which is in a circle, because there's a word circle in this, right? But if you want to define it more technically, you would say a body is moving in such a manner that its distance from a fixed point is always constant. Matlab, agar koi body circular motion karega if a body is doing circular motion you can say its distance from the center is always constant which is what radius of the circle na? that's something how we define a circular motion fine the type of motion in which a body moves in such a manner that its distance from a fixed point is always constant which is the radius of the circle right that's something we call as circular motion then we have periodic motion her motion ko matlab hai kisi ek particular cheez se right like circle, circular motion wanted a circular motion. Speed, constant or not, doesn't matter. Rectilinear motion, straight line. Speed, constant or not, doesn't matter. P periodic motion has only, only relation with time. You are doing some motion, but you need to repeat this motion after a fixed period of time. Right? So if you look at me, and after every second, I, I have this habit of, let's say, doing this. Three, four. So after every four seconds, I mean after every one second, I'm doing this motion. You can say, whatever time you saw me, right? I'm doing this periodic motion. Why? Because I'm repeating the motion after every one second. So time period would be one second, right? So that's something called periodic motion. It has to do something with time. If a body repeats its motion after a fixed interval of time, it's called periodic motion. Then we have rotational motion. Our rotation is Rotating ball, rotating earth, rotating disc. When an extended body rotates along an axis, that's something called as rotational motion. And every point in that body is doing what? Circular motion at different different radius. That's for sure. Grade 6 may have explained this very nicely and we have a special video on the channel, right? Oscillatory, it has to do with path. You have to come back to the same position from where you started. To 
and fro motion. It could be to and fro motion. You have to take the same path and come back to the same point. That's what we call as an oscillatory motion, a to and fro motion, right? So all this is about types of motion. Nice. Now let's, all of this was grade six, by the way. Now it starts from grade, uh, grade seven, the new topics, the speed and distance. They go away. Distance kya hai? Total length of path covered is called as distance, right? But what is speed then? How quickly the length is being covered? So the distance covered by an object in unit time. How much distance you have covered in how much time? That's something we call as speed. Speed tells you how fast a body is. Now comes two terms, instantaneous speed and average speed. See, when you travel from your home to your, uh, let's say, school, and you are in a bus or a car, it's not like throughout the journey, car or the bus had the same speed. It's not like the bus was moving with 40 km per hour always. No, if it's traffic, it will just break. If it's an empty road, it'll just speed up, right? So speed is going up and down, that's for sure. But when you reach school and someone asks you, hey, what do you think your speed must have been? You could say, uh, my school distance is, let's say, 50 km and I took one hour. So 50 upon one, 50 km per hour must be the average speed, right? We say, on an average. So this is what we call as the average speed, fine? It represents the overall speed of a journey. But what is instantaneous speed? Instantaneous speed is something where if you are in a bus and someone asks you, what is the speed right now? What you would do? You would look at the speedometer, it's 60 km per hour. What is the speed now? Hey, it's 20. Right now. At that instant, at that moment, what is the speed is called as the instantaneous speed. It represents speed at any instant of time, right? At that moment. Okay, what is the average speed? Total distance covered upon total time taken. That is the most basic definition and the most important definition. Shortcuts and all, not required, fine. The unit would be distance is meter divided by time. SI unit is second, so meter per second, fine. So meter per second is the unit. As I said, if someone asks you in a car or a bus, what is the speed right now, what you would do? You will check the device. The device is called as speedometer. So speedometer, speedometer is a device which tells you the instantaneous speed in vehicles. Fine, we call it the speedometer. But in this speedometer, there's a small dial which keeps changing the numbers as you move farther, right? That's telling you what, the distance. So that device is called as odometer, right? So odometer tells you distance. It measures total distance covered in kilometer. That is the odometer. And speedometer tells you instantaneous speed in kilometer per hour. Fine. Clear? Okay. Now comes question of uniform and non-uniform motion. Now what is uniform? Uniform always means not changing. That's the truth. Uniform motion is when a body is moving along a straight line in a constant speed. It is said to be in uniform motion, as simple. If the speed does not change, what is the other way of saying it? What is the speed? It is distance upon time, right? So if a body is covering equal, equal, equal distances in equal, equal, equal time, it's called uniform speed, right? Uniform motion. In a way you can say, if a body covers two, two kilometers, in one, one hour. So it's simple, two kilometer per hour becomes the speed. So if a body's speed is constant and it's going in the same direction, it's called uniform motion. But what is non-uniform motion? Almost, most of the real life motions are non-uniform motion. You go from your home to school in a bus, as I told you, if it's traffic, the bus will be slow. You'll have to uh, apply a lot of brakes. If the bus finds an open road, it will just speed up, right? So all of these are examples of non-uniform motion. If the speed is not constant, it's called non-uniform motion. Non-uniform motion, fine. All right, easy hai ekdam. Example puchega to lik doge, I'm hoping, hai na? Fine, okay. Next, time and its units. Time and its units. What is time? Ooh, what is time, what is time, what is time? See, this is not a question. Time is measured by periodic events. If you want to tell time, how much time I took, right? Yesterday night I slept for, we all know the answer, but imagine someone says, yesterday night I slept for, uh, I slept for, I slept for, think. You will always try to give an answer of this, this question in a periodic event. Like if let's say, in let's say, uh, outside there is a guy who, 
bangs who bangs a rod after every one hour. Let's say, right? there is a guy who bangs the rod after every one hour. So what will you say? Yesterday night I, I, I slept for eight bangs. Means eight times the rod was hit and the rod hits after every one hour. So to tell time, you need something which is periodic. Without it, the essence of time does not make sense, right? So time is measured by periodic events. And what do we have naturally periodic events? Like you can say moon, right? Moon completes a cycle and then completes a cycle again and again. Every 28 days, it completes a cycle. So this is something periodic. So all our calendars in, in uh, in Hinduism, all our calendars are lunar based calendars, right? Dwadashi, Chaturdashi, correct? Ekadashi. Then we have sundial, right? Gregorian calendar or, or uh, these are sun based calendars. So they tell us about periodicity, right? This sun is also periodic after every around 365 days, about 365 days, it repeats the motion again. Earth completes one revolution around the sun and then it does again. So this is periodic, correct? Then we have clocks, obviously periodic. 12 hours to complete one revolution for the small needle. One hour to complete one revolution for the bigger needle, correct? Second needle, 60 seconds. So this is also periodic. So all these are periodic motions and that's why they can tell time. To tell time, we need something periodic, that's for sure. Unit of time is seconds. The SI unit of time is seconds, fine. Now. What can you use to find time? Like throughout the history, it was not like we had the luxury of clocks. We don't, we never had all these digital plots, analog watches, right? Watches are a modern concept. So what was it? Simple pendulum. And it has a, a nice history. Uh, Galileo Galilei, he saw uh, a chandelier, uh, you know, kind of oscillating in, in uh, in a temple, no, in a palace and that's how he said. So that's why this was a small story not relevant to you. But simple pendulum, this is the starting point of finding time, at least mechanically, fine. So we said, what is the time period? It is the time taken to complete one oscillation. How much time does this pendulum take to complete one oscillation? That becomes the time period. What is time period? After this much time, the, the motion is repeated. That is called as one time period, fine. So time taken to complete one oscillation. Now, but what is one oscillation? Uh, it's a so easy question. This is where the trick comes. One oscillation, either you can say it goes from A, O, B, O, A. Means starting from A to O, then to B, then to O, and then to A. Understand, the center position will come twice in one oscillation. So this is one oscillation. It's a four step process. A to O, O to B, B to O, O to A. Fine, this is one. Otherwise you can say, it goes from, if you start from the middle, O to O to A, A to O, O to B, B to O. O to A, A to O, O to B, B to O. Similar, right? Four step process, very simple. And the center portion will come twice. Fine, okay. So this is called as simple pendulum. I said this is a simple pendulum and this is called as one oscillation. Time taken to complete one oscillation becomes the time period. How the question will come? Question will say, Isko lagta hai one second in going from O to A. Batao, one oscillation ka time period kya hoga. So one second, two second, three second, four second. Four seconds, fine. Yes. Now comes the graphical representation of motion. Bacche darte bhoat hai aris se. Mushkil hai nahi hai. What is graphical representation of motion? So think about it. Bhai, at what time? Aap kya karte ho? Aap coordinate axis banate ho. You take two lines. This is the y-axis, this is the x-axis. Here you say that we will time reading. And I will keep the time readings. And here I will keep all the distance reading. I mean, sir, if let's say you are sitting in a car and you start from your home to your school, after every one minute, or let's say, after every five minutes, you take the reading of the odometer. Fine. So let's say five minutes later, you said, what is the reading? Reading is two kilometers. Fine. After... Next reading you took, let's say, after 15, right? After 15, so 5, 10, 15. So 5 pe 2 tha, okay, you will mark one point. After 5, you took another reading at 15 minutes. 15 pe kitna tha reading? Sir, 15 pe it was 10 kilometers. Oh, 2, uh, 4, 6, 8, 10. On 15, we had how much? 10 kilometers. Okay, next point is this. 
then you can join these two points fine so a graphical representation is nothing it's just a graphical way of telling the things which you might have to tell in a table at this time this much was distance this time this was a distance similar thing you can just look at it oh straight it is going correct fine chalo so let's see distance time graph see uniform motion graph looks something like this sir how do we know i told you equal distance and equal intervals of time if you just look at it equal distance in equal intervals of time okay each time interval is how much 10 minutes fine this is 10 minute this is 10 minute this is 10 minute how much is the interval of uh, distance 5 km 5 km 5 km fine so 10 to 5 this is one then next step is another in 10 minutes this is 10 minutes it is going 5 km it is 5 it is 10 minutes it is 5 km so a body is covering 5 5 km in every 10 10 minute interval so this is what a, a straight line looks like and you know? this is what we call as a uniform motion so if distance time graph looks like a straight line inclined to time axis inclined to x axis you will call it it's a uniform motion why because equal distance is covered in equal intervals of time when is it called a non uniform motion if the graph looks curved स्ट्रेट लाइन नहीं होगा आप बोलोगे नॉन यूनिफॉर्म मोशन सिंपल अगर लाइन कर्व्ड होगा है ना इट्स ओके इफ इट इज कर्व लाइक दिस और लाइक दिस डजेंट मैटर बोथ आर नॉन यूनिफॉर्म मोशन लेकिन ये एग्जांपल है नॉन यूनिफॉर्म मोशन का वेरी वेरी इजी ओके बाय द वे दिस इज एक्सेलरेटेड मोशन बिकॉज़ स्पीड इज इंक्रीजिंग फाइन होमवर्क क्वेश्चन फॉर यू गाइस ओके द फॉलोइंग फिगर शोस द डिस्टेंस टाइम ग्राफ फॉर द मोशन ऑफ टू व्हीकल्स ए एंड बी व्हिच वन ऑफ देम इज मूविंग फास्टर So homework question for you. I want to see the answers in the comment section. All right. With this, we are done with the chapter called as motion and time. Simple chapter, easy chapter. I have explained you everything you need to know for your exams, the final exam especially. But what is there for you? Description may we have two important things. One is notes. There's a link given to you. If you click on that link, you will get the notes and you will get the worksheets. Important questions. But second important thing is smart playlist. a very nice thing our team has created for you that smart playlist you can choose your grade you can choose your chapter it will give you proper videos you have to see and a quiz for you all of this is for you guys it's for free take the benefit come on and share it with your friends because this is the platform where we believe in quality education no time pass no chill chal masti something if we do masti we also do learning with it right so people I'll see you next time till then keep learning use the things given in the description and bye bye like share and subscribe